So I'm working on the Jaggernaut, shooting some video that may end up in another video. But uh, I was putting the B-belt on here, and uh, there, I was taught some things a long time ago. I don't think they get passed on. How do you know when your V-belt is tight enough? Uh, when I first started as a technician back in the late 90s, Nissan was still using multiple belts on the front of their cars. And uh, I was taught, when you're installing a belt, you should be able to roll it sideways fairly easy without too much. You have to put some tension on it to get it like that, but it shouldn't, you know. I can snap it a little bit. There's a little bit of play there. But I'll loosen it up to give you some examples here. You don't want it too loose. You don't want it too tight. If you, if you get your V-belt too tight, you can actually burn up the bearings in your alternator and uh, wreak other havoc. So if you tighten it up and it's, you can wobble it, then that, that's not tight enough. You want to, what I usually do is lay a hand on the alternator and pull it to where, it, you know, there's a place where it's going to want to be. Right there is the end of the belt. Uh, if I just pull on it, so I'm going to snug it up just a little bit, tighten that. And tighten the bottom bolt. It's a little more snug than I like, but the belt turns pretty easy. If you get it too tight, you're going to have a hard, harder time twisting the belt. Um, all later being as far out as it is, I may go a little bit looser than that. But also, if it's a brand new belt, it's going to stretch a little bit. This is not a brand new belt. So I'm going to take this. I don't know if you saw it move there, but it moved on me. That feels nice. That's, it's not going to slip. Uh, it's not going to burn the belt. Uh, there's not a whole lot of tension on this alternator. It's not a high end. This is only like a 55 amp alternator. So it's not going to draw real hard. It's not going to put a lot of torque or resistance on this belt. So it ought to spin freely like that. And uh, I think that's good. So it, it's hard to, without you being here, to feel how the belt is. You know, they used to make the tension gauges that you could put on a V-belt. I don't know if you can, I don't know where to find one of those. I've never owned one. But uh, there's a feel for it. And it, it's right there. It's not loose to where when I wiggle this, there's a, you know, there's no looseness in there, but it's not too tight either. So, hope that helps you. And uh, thanks for watching.